What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have the information for the Ace vs. Akainu banner. Now, this is the one that we've been all been waiting for. Now, I just uploaded a video talking about the new Sugarfest characters, but now let's actually talk about the banner itself and just have a look at the steps, see how it's structured. Now, I must say at the start of this video, we do not know everything. We don't know what the legend rate's going to be. We don't know what characters are, are available. We don't know if it's going to be all legends available, whether it's a restricted pool, like what we've typically seen. We don't know, uh, like, everything about the banner. We only have the bare minimum at the moment. So, take this with a grain of salt, and as the information does leak out we may get you know a little bit more information as to whether or not it is it is a good sugar fest or not but we'll have to wait and see how things go but in this video today we're going to go through the sugar fest structure and kind of determine where this could possibly go and determine whether or not it is worth pulling or not now i must say this is arguably the best character that we're going to see for many many months so just because of that if we're talking about the quality of the characters that are debuting on this banner yes this is a very very good sugo but we'll have to wait and see how everything kind of structures with this banner whether the like whether the the, the character rates are going to change we don't know what character is going to be available there's there's a lot of unknowns right now but without further ado let's jump into the sugo step details now one thing straight off the bat 30 gem multi which is really really good to see um you know when when, when we saw the uh, kata versus big mom banner we we're kind of disappointed that there were no discounts on that banner at all and it was very expensive to go to the guaranteed step however this one is i mean it's still going to be expensive to go to the guaranteed step but it's it's definitely a little bit more easy <laughs> easier for the players which is good to see so the first multi is a 30 gem multi the second one is a legend or a rate boosted character i'm not the biggest fan of these steps you know i, I honestly would have preferred it if it was like just a guaranteed new batch character because there is four rare recruits and a new legend so it's going to be relatively difficult to get all the new characters in this sugo fest so i feel like it, it would have been better if this one was at least a new character and even if those people out there that want to be skipping this banner potentially try and get ace versus a kano on like a treasure map sugo fest or a kizuna sugo fest or something like that having a new character guaranteed on the second multi is going to be tempting a lot of people because the one after that is a guaranteed legend and then the one after that is a one gem multi so i feel like you know if they did make the second multi just a new unit people would be tempted to go to four multis after that either way um i do think just currently this is a bit of an odd structure and just looking at the first few steps like this, it leads me to believe that it's probably going to be one of those base banners that we see for regular batches, you know, 5% legend rate, and that's kind of it, you know, nothing really too special, but again, we don't have all the details yet, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and then we got the fifth one here, which is super interesting. A limited pool Sugo Fest exclusive character. Now, when I saw this, and then I move, we'll, we'll move further along, and I'll tell you what I what I was kind of thinking at the time. The sixth multi here is the same as the second. It's a legend or a rate boost. The seventh is a recommended character. This is big. This one probably should have been maybe the second multi, honestly. Um, we've got the eighth, which is another one gem multi, which is pretty typical from what we've seen. We have like three paid multis, and then we've got a one gem multi. Multi, which I almost consider to be a free multi at this point, but still three multis and then a one gem is fantastic. I love that. The ninth is a super limited pool, Sugo Fest exclusive, right? So when I saw that and then I saw the step five and see how it's like you got a limited pool and then a super limited pool, this leads me to believe that potentially all legends are going to be available on this banner because I feel like why would they have like two different pools of characters? Like you have a regular limited and then a super limited. I don't know what they're really doing and i don't know what their goal is here but um i really hope that not all legends are available because it's going to make pulling ace versus a kainu so much more difficult um if this was a regular banner where it was you know, only 10 available legends and each character is equal rate i honestly prefer that over having you know a bunch of legends available and a high legend rate i, I much prefer it to be 0.5 percent chance because getting that unit is not as difficult as you know 0.1 or 0.2 for example right so anyways, moving on, the 10th step is another legend or a rate boost, which is kind of weird that that's the 10th step, but either way, 11th is another recommended unit, which is good, and then you got another one gem multi, and it kind of cycles through a very, very similar structure, you got like legend, and then a legend or a rate boost, and then a, and then a special step, right, so you got another super limited, legend, legend or rate boost, then a limited, and then again, this secret step is a limited pool, and then you've got the 30th step, which is the ace versus a Kainu guaranteed. So it is a little bit steep, right? It is a little bit steep in order to get Ace versus Akainu guaranteed on the 30th step. However, we do have 
what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. We have seven steps that are discounted at a one gem multi. So 49 times seven, 343 gems are taken off, which is actually pretty good. And if you add an additional 20 for the first multi, which is going to be uh, 363 gems discounted from your 1500. So yeah, it, it costs you 1137 gems to go from multi one to multi 30. Now, if you do compare that between this one and Kaido versus Big Mom, this Sugafest structure already appears to be much better because when Kaido versus Big Mom debuted, you got them on the 30th multi guaranteed and there were absolutely no discounts at all. So it was 1500 gems to go from 1 to, to 30. So we do at least get, you know, 360 gem discount, which I guess is nice at the end of the day. But um, it's still expensive. It's still very, very expensive. And I just hope that the rate to get that particular unit, Ace versus Akainu, is good enough. Um, and, you know, this is considered to be one of the most anticipated banners in a long time. And, you know, we've seen in the past when there is a banner that is super anticipated. It's a character that everyone wants to get their hands on. Sometimes they have made that banner on purpose a lot worse than what it should typically be. So I hope they don't go down that route. And again, we'll have to wait and see once the official news is in game, probably tomorrow, maybe the day after. Um, it, it might be as soon as the, uh, the, the face-off event ends. Maybe they'll reveal the official information then. But until that point, I don't really know how good this Sugo Fest is going to be. Now, you can see with part one as well, Kaido versus Big Mom is going to be on part one. So if you are still missing that character, part one is going to be a really good way to go. I do know for sure that on part two, Vivi and Rebecca are going to be there. V2, Vivi and Rebecca. I did see that posted on Discord server somewhere. And I assume there's going to be a part three, but I'm not really too sure who'd be featured there. Maybe V2, Kaido. I'm not really 100% sure yet. But um, as we've already established in my video that I uploaded uh, just before we talked about the new characters ace versus akainu in many people's opinions is considered to be one of the top three best units in the game and i definitely agree to that because of the just the, the sheer power that you have because not only are you boosting with akainu powerhouse and driven but you've also got the other side with ace which just boosts shooter and free spirit so it just makes this unit in general to be one of the most valuable units in the game because you basically get this one unit that is the best version of itself for four different classes in the game i mean yeah technically you know, you got Goldie Roger, who's another, technically, you can use him as a free spirit captain, but just saying that, you know, this character is going to be valuable for not only now, but he's going to be valuable for many, many, many months down the line as they release more and more driven powerhouse free spirit shooter characters, right? So keep that in mind in deciding whether or not you want to be pulling or not. And we'll have to wait and see if there's going to be any gem sales or not too. That is going to be very interesting to see. I hope that they do have some good gem sales for this banner because this is a banner that a lot of people were anticipating. So anyways, uh, just some other brief things before we end this uh, video today. We can go over to Extra Island. You can see we have two different Sugafest trial quests. We have one where you go ahead and use Ace as the captain to verse the, the new content. And then we have the other one, which is going to be using Akainu versus the new content. Now, uh, there is actually a new Whitebeard character you might have just seen. So if we go over to the Ace team, you can see that there is a new green white Whitebeard. Now, in order to get this Whitebeard, you will have to complete some Chopman missions for this brand new quest that's going to be out, which is, I guess, very similar to the type of event that we've seen similarly with, uh, you know, the Kamazo event and also the uh, Hina event. I don't know if there's an ambush or not. I think, I mean, there probably is. I, I Yeah, there probably is. I'm not really too sure if there was an ambush or not. But, um... In the Chopman missions, you'll see the special quests that you will get access to this Whitebeard character. So we can actually quickly go over to the Ace quest and we can have a look at what this Whitebeard actually does. So this Whitebeard unit is really cool because he's a Dex unit and with his classes both being Powerhouse and Free Spirit means you can run him on both the Akainu team and also the Ace team. And I mean, that artwork is magnificent. It looks so good. So this unit with a captain effect of boosting Powerhouse and Free Spirit by 2.5 and then boosting by 3.25 when you have less than half health not a very good captain effect but a 12 turn cooldown special can only be used two times during a quest so this is a very unique effect um as soon as you use it twice it will not let you launch it again so it's very very interesting 
but it reduces all enemies health by 15 percent and it ignores everything and it's a damage dealing special or health cut special which is good reduces crew's despair and de uh, decrease chain multiply growth rate by three turns which is pretty good because both of those i guess technically could be considered bad debuffs for ace versus akainu and then boosts the color affinity of powerhouse and free spirit by 1.75 for one turn um, and the very interesting thing about this guy is he has a really cool crewmate effect reduces his special charge time by six turns every time any other special is launched and his cooldown is 12 so you launch his special you launch two other specials and he's ready to go again so that's really cool i like that so you can use him over multiple stages very easily he's going to be a pretty decent unit to use in like arenas or raid bosses for example I like him so far. I think he's a really good unit. Um, and his support effect is just attaching to pretty much all of the Whitebeard Pirates. And it just gives them 9% base attack. So, like, nothing too crazy. But it's a pretty cool-looking free-to-play unit. Likely going to be boosted in the next treasure map. But um, with all that being said, guys, that's all the information that we currently have for the upcoming Ace versus Akainu event. We don't have any information about the upcoming arena yet. So, once that gets uh, revealed and, you know, once it gets released, I'll definitely be bringing you guys a video relating to that. But I'm really, really looking looking forward to this banner and I will definitely be doing pulls on the live stream so come over to twitch.tv forward slash toadski on June 24th at 1900 PST time if you guys want to join in the fun hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys I'll see you guys within the next video